I am doing Get Ready With Me because I have approximately one video on the internet of me before, well, not before, after I stopped being ugly. So let's see how this goes, especially because that video started in 2016, I think, when I cut off all my hair for the second time. Oh, um, I'm using this Thayer's Witch Hazel. Everyone uses Thayer's unless they're using that really expensive rose water shit. Which, if it works, it works. I just use whatever. I just use Glossier Jelly Balm. Um, I'm supposed to talk about follow. How do I feel about it? I feel like a fake follow fan, honestly, because I only started liking it right before the fourth game came out. Um, using the Morseful Etude collagen shit. I'm honestly, here's the thing. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna hold up the bottle and put it in post because I hate talking about makeup. I just like putting it on. <sighs> so, I started liking Fallout in it was right after high school and I lost my mind I was like wow these graphics are so immersive and you look at Fallout 3 now and it looks like how do I make my face 2D that's what it looks like so Fallout 4 felt like a fucking well it felt like the way a lot of things do like um, like everyone gets all happy because it's there and it has all this representation and it's so cool and then uh, once the reality starts to set in that it's not God's gift to the universe and it's not perfect um, everyone just starts shitting on it immediately and obviously the previous game is the best game see Sims 2, Sims 3. I'd gone through this shit before, so I knew exactly what was happening, but still got caught up in it. And honestly, Fallout 4 is a good game, but it could have been that it wasn't what a lot of people were looking for in the game, and that's because markets change, and I I'm gonna combine this with um, what is it? the Too Faced Born This Way, and if it looks good enough and covers up this and this and this and this, I'm going to go with the red lip. But if not, I'm going to disappear for a bit. So, I feel like a lot, there have been hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of people talking about how ooh, well, these companies only want money and they make all these choices to appeal to a broader market but they have no actual critique of the systems that cause that thing or at least they don't address them within the video they just say a thing bad and then fuck off which is a bit silly but when's the last time you heard a game of think Um, also, Fallout 3 wasn't that bad. It wasn't, again, God's gift to the universe, but I don't know. I liked playing a lot more than I liked playing Fallout New Vegas, because not Fallout New Vegas, it feels like... <sighs> it's kind of like watching a movie that you really, really just have a fun time watching versus watching um an oscar award winning best picture oh my god everyone nuts in their pants over how good this movie is and the writing and the direction and it feels like i gotta fucking take a test at the end of it that's what it feels like to play fallout new vegas sometimes plus the only part i really enjoyed were the dlc and you gotta get to a certain point in your character to get through the DLC 
And you can only play the DLC once, once you get to that point. Which kind of takes the wind out of my sails. God, I hate this ring light. Plus, I don't really like, I don't really like the companions in New Vegas. They're not, I understand why people like them. I like Arcade quite a bit, but I find his quest to be annoying as shit. I, uh, I like Cass good enough, but she's not really my cup of tea. And I feel like there's only so much to explore with her. At least within the confines of the game and how the system works. And then I just don't like Felicia Day. Oh, and Boone's there, but... I think my first experience with the Fallout fandom, period, was a call-out post uh, calling everyone who enjoyed Boone a horrible person because he murdered his wife. Which uh, was really something. I'm not saying... It was good or bad. I'm just saying it was really something, you know? It's kind of like calling everyone who likes Steven Universe a war criminal or some shit. Or condoning uh, imperialism. But just thoughts for food. Using the Glossier Cloud Paint. Which is actually really cute, and I shouldn't be using this color with a red lip, but I don't care. <sighs> oh, I honestly have a lot of hope for Fallout 76. Not because I think it's going to be a fantastically wonderful story that you craft for yourself and blah, 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 multiplayer, blah, blah, blah. I just, I know what I'm going to get out of it. And it's going to be playing a game with my friends and having fun and not playing Minecraft. Playing edgy Minecraft. And if people really, really wanted New Vegas 2, they can either play the Fallout 4 New Vegas, or they can show great interest in Obsidian's new projects, which I think the latter would be better. But I, I am genuinely impressed by what Fallout 4 New Vegas is doing, because recording The reason why the Fallout 3, the Fallout 3 being ported, ported, um, to Fallout 4 never happened is because they were going to reuse all the old voice lines, which is a big no-no and it got cancelled. And they can't do that with Fallout New Vegas. So, oh, no. So, they're re-recording they're re every single voice line in the game. Which, goddamn, people love New Vegas. I don't know what brand this is. It's a little brow. I have no brows to start off with. Oh no. See, I'm doing this on my brand new iPad, and I'm bad at doing my eyebrows to begin with. Oh, I've put, and I, honestly, I, th I feel like part of me wants to get defensive of Fallout 4 just because I've dumped so <laughs> many hours into it, like, like 700 hours into it, and I don't think I ever actually finished the game. That's a good way to encapsulate the way people react to video games. Um, I think the best example, at least for me, would be how I approached 
the DLC for Fallout 4, which the first, you know, capital D LC, because the previous one was the uh, robot lady one, and everyone just lost their fucking minds because it didn't have a new world. Well, surprise, fuckers, there was only two new worlds in all of the DLCs. Have fun, assholes. Anyways, the first one with the DLCs. I initially thought I was going to hate it because uh, it's just a rehash of the old fucking one from Fallout. You know what a Glossier one is. From Fallout 3, the first DLC from that. That's going to suck shit and it's not going to be as interesting or fun. Which was, very surprisingly, a lie believe it or not people just like people just like being negative on the internet and i can understand because there's a lot of things to be negative on the internet about but god damn was i wrong i probably spent more time in that area than i did in the main game even though there's not that much to explore i just love it for some reason I sit here doing this eyebrow for the next 45 minutes. Do I even have any other? I feel like it's one of those things where I don't actually know a lot about. I, f I feel like I know things about video games and I start talking and I don't. I know nothing about video games. Um, I think it's really interesting how there's so many giant booby mod uh Fallout, um, what is it? What are they called? They're not custom content, they're mods, mods. So I'm using the. It looks. Oh, wait, shit, I should line my lips first. Oh, wait, no, I should do my lips last. Because I do. Where did I put it? God, fuck it, there it is. What else there to speak about in the world? I don't remember what I was just talking about a minute ago. Um, and this is really, well, this is really weird for me because normally I just listen to murder podcasts. Which I shouldn't because I get a little paranoid at night, but that's okay. I wish I didn't use my sister's eyeliner yesterday. <sighs> because even though I took a shower and scrubbed my face like a motherfucker. It's still there because she loves waterproof shit. I don't get the point of waterproof. Like, I guess I understand the point of waterproof mascara, but it's never actually waterproof. All it does is get glued to your lashes and you have to buy another product to get it off. at the grocery store isn't going to notice, so why care? be talking about bullshit but god it is so hard to get this eye this is honestly probably just feeling weird because I'm not used to talking to myself because I know a lot of people who talk to themselves a lot um, 
and I never wanted to be one of those people. Not because I necessarily think they're weird, but I do. But it's also, um, I'm strange enough as is, not like in a normal people scare me sort of type. I'm just, I say something slightly off kilter and everyone just goes, And it reminds me that I shouldn't be in public. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't um, do a sunscreen in the beginning, um, which I would normally recommend because wrinkles. But one, don't because the beauty industry is a trap and especially skincare. But two, um, I, I'm going to be inside all night and all morning. Oh, by the way, I'm filming this at 3.58 a.m. Jesus Christ. Poop. It's like straight up doo-doo. I'm only using my uh, Besame mascara stuff because I ran out of my normal eyeliner. Normally I use the NYX... Um, what is it? Whatever the NYX skinny brush eyeliner is, but... Um, I'm too lazy to go to the store. So I'm not even sure they have it at my CVS. Okay. I'm gonna look like a dickhead. I have pink nail polish. And no one notices that. No one notices that. So I don't have to care. I didn't bring my powder brush. So I'm going to use the tiny, whatever the fuck this thing is that comes. Oh, I got, this was really funny. I um, ordered the mascara and the lipstick from Besame. And I think it was an accident, but they gave me a powder free, which was super nice of them. Even if it was an accident. Especially because it's not my shade. But, as they say, that's just how the pussy crumbles. You know, it's supposed to smell like vanilla, but it really just smells like this um, pre-done pasta that I had earlier tonight. I had... So here's a little sneak peek into my life. I had pasta, not once, not twice, but four times today. Four times I had pasta. And it was all the same shit. It was all... Um, tomato sauce with some sort of noodle. Uh, twice it was spaghetti noodles. Uh, once it was rigatoni, once it was penne. Um, but I had it four times today. <sighs> I sure look interesting. It's probably the most uneven iPad. My foundation look in a while. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Well, on to the final part, the lipstick. I guess this is a very appropriate look for me to try and talk about Fallout with, but I feel like if I'm going to coherently give all my thoughts on Fallout, well, by the way, this is just like a shitty L'Oreal one. If I'm going to coherently give all my thoughts on Fallout, I need to have like a 15-page essay written out. And I don't think I realized that until just this moment. Oh, god damn. Which is, yeah, you know, super unfortunate in retrospect, but I didn't realize that until I got like halfway through finishing my makeup. Why 
mind is about I actually have like horrendous eyesight like if you know what diopters are of a negative 5.0 which most people with bad eyesight have anywhere between negative one or at least you know nearsightedness have negative one to a negative three mine's five and I'm applying too much lipstick but I don't care and that means that I can never ever ever wear glasses because then my eyes how big do they, they look about the size of um this brush right here they look that small maybe smaller I haven't had glasses in a while <sighs> You want to know what the funny thing is about this ring light that I'm using that's very obvious that I'm using? I actually purchased it so that I could talk about, um, I can make a full, maybe 12 minute length video on Fallout and why I don't think the current games are that bad, especially by, you know, regular game standards. Uh, but then I lost steam on that, like everything else I do in my life. And forgot and I gave up on my dreams don't do that I'm also having so much fun with my hair color because of the natural highlights that makes my hair look like dookie because it always looks greasy even though I literally just blow dried it fresh out of the shower There we go. Wonderful. Are you ready? You're ready. Am I ready? Yes, I am. I have fresh. Convenient. And here's the real secret. I don't really straighten all my hair uh, since it's already blow dried out and people aren't going to see like the underneath part. If anything, it adds volume. I always spray that in my eye. I'm actually going to check Twitter see if anyone else responded even though it's 3 in the morning. Hi, Kay. <sighs> I'd mention what I use as a shampoo, see if I would get any help, but I know that the shampoo is not the problem because it's this weird shampoo that um, is from the 70s that they legally can't manufacture in the United States anymore, so they manufacture it in Japan. And the reason they manufacture it in Japan, well, it's two reasons. One is because they decide to go with the whole um, hair health thing here in America. Um, and it's really not the, it really just loves drying out your hair so much, um, which I could kind of use sometimes. Not my ends, but then again, my ends, that's not my fault. No, is it? Well, I paid to have it dried out. And two, this one's a fun one. It's because it's got lots of carcinogens, but that's okay in Japan, apparently. Wild. so mad it's making my hair look like a cheap wig in this light. If only, you know, my, here's my deepest secret. When I was in high school, my only 
well not high school, I'm going to say like late middle school, early high school, my only dream in life was to become one of those girls, and I knew, I knew their hair was natural, and I know that they only straightened it for like, whatever reason I'm straightening mine for. Um, one of those girls with dark chocolate brown hair, naturally straight, naturally shiny, healthy. Um, and I failed in my classes because I tried so hard, but I never dyed my hair, which is a good thing because you can't really dye your hair that much when you're blonde, naturally, or at least, you know, blonde. Because if I did, I'd look stupid. I really wanted to dye my hair black at one point because I was very, very, very trying hard to be goth uh, with my very limited budget and parental acceptance on the gothness. They're okay with literally everything else, but goth. Let's, let's keep that one on the, uh, on the side, please. Thank you. But the one thing that got me was this one time I saw a lady in a grocery store and she was blonde, naturally, I could tell, because she also had dyed her hair this nice, dark, very, it, in my mind, it was a very nice dark chocolate brown, but honestly, it could have just been any bottle brown. I have no idea. My memory isn't great. But because she had that natural sort of blonde like it was more of a dirty blonde because of that it made her look like her hair was falling out she was going bald so i was like oh never ever ever gonna do that i'm gonna bleach my hair if anything which is why my hair is the way it is and i put on these it got to be Angel Spray, which is the only hairspray that I've used that I don't hate. It's not a hairspray, it's like the thing that's supposed to keep your hair from dying because you flat iron it. And also, here's the trick. It makes it flatter. Alright. You, well I, I, am done. And I'm going to sit at this computer for the next two hours and watch old drag race videos and feel bad about myself because I don't know how to commission my art properly and I'll probably try really hard to email that one guy that I'm supposed to and then keep the tab open for two days until I forget. Good night.